There's an image that is popping up all over East Dallas, and no one seems to understand exactly what it means. Somebody spray painting what looks like giant purple tacos all over the area. Jeff Paul, live in East Dallas tonight with what he's uncovered so far. Jeff? Well, yeah, Doug, the realtor for this condo complex that's under construction at first thought that his development was being specifically targeted with these taco tags. But after taking a quick drive down Gaston Avenue, he soon realized he wasn't alone. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. Gavino Perez and his dog Fluffy have seen their fair share of graffiti outside their East Dallas convenience store. You know, yes, like regular letters, you know, that's it. But nothing else, like everywhere, the same picture. It's a purple taco that appears to be of the hard shell variety. But it was perfect. The taco, I mean, like everything, really, really nice. We spotted it on garage doors, walls, for lease signs, fences, all along Gaston Avenue. That's weird. I never see something like that. No one knows who's responsible. They've left no name, just a shell. Some wonder if there's a deeper meaning or message behind the carefully crafted image. I don't know if it's for, for the also Hispanic people. I don't know. We don't know. Dallas police told us they know about it, and the city released a statement saying it too is aware of the vandalism that has occurred with the purple taco graffiti throughout the city. You get sad, you know, because it costs money, you know, to repair everything, repaint and all that kind of stuff. Perez says he only wishes he could meet the mysterious taco tagger and ask him why. I wish I knew. <laughs> I don't know. Believe me, I don't know. Now, the city is offering up free cleanups to property owners who have been hit by the taco tagger. Dallas police tell us while this is a chargeable offense, they really don't have too much information on it. Reporting live here in East Dallas, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News. Things we sometimes can't explain. Jeff Paul, thank you.